Y'all, so I got the boat launch. It's a beautiful day. Gonna be running out and trying my luck. Let's get out there and catch something fun. We'll be back, Orange Beach. Now that's what we're looking for. That is a loaded reef right there. I have a 4,000 size Shimano Stratic with 20 pound braid. And this is a dark matter, seven foot medium heavy spinning rod coming down to a three alt mustad circle hook. You have to use circle hooks when reef fishing out here. Now this is 30 pound fluorocarbon, about two feet of it, a barrel swivel, and then a one ounce egg sinker that can freely slide up and down my line. But I brought a box of squid out. Really pretty squid, look at that. I'm gonna use a whole one right now. If I get bit off, I'll switch to pieces. But hook it just like that, it's gonna look really natural in the water. Drop it down. So here it goes. Y'all, I love doing this. This is incredibly fun. It's a great way to get some good fish to take home. Oh yeah. Oh man, come here, buddy. Oh, good one. Really good one. Dad, good. What are you? Mm. Wow. Yes, dead weight. That's incredible. Oh, I would love to see what this is going to be. I mean, this is just straight up dead weight. Mm, I don't want to lose it. Uh oh. I think it discovered it was hooked. That is crazy. Be something cool. Use that gunnel. All right. Pretty far down there. Yeah. Wow, kind of speechless right now because I have no clue what this could be. <sighs> could be a cobia, a grouper, big trigger fish. I have caught octopus out here before as well, which is cool, but octopus don't really fight back. <laughs> coming up wow didn't expect that okay I see some color oh no the shark is what that is <laughs> I should have known can't believe it didn't cut me off I did not want to get bit today that's why you're just dead weight. What kind of shark are you? Oh. I wouldn't mind if you just cut that leader. Mm. That's why you use non-stainless. So if you do lose fish, or if they cut you off, you know, it doesn't. Stainless it takes a long time to rust. These will rust out pretty quick. But I think that circle has got them pin just perfect or <laughs> I might have to deal with them <laughs> oh man look at you man we're gonna bring you in the boat I don't want to oh y'all are such a pain to deal with <laughs> but I think we will <sighs> okay bud let's bring you in if it breaks off it breaks off Okay, there we go, it broke off, sweet. Uh, I'd much rather that hook just rust out of him and me keep all my fingers. Oh, bottle of this dolphin. Then, uh, whoo, that was tough, cool. Let's, uh, I need to snail on another circle hook. Y'all, I was trolling to my next spot and just hooked up. I was also eating some Cheez-Its as a snack too. Usually when it will happen. 
but we have a fish on pretty nice one too feels like Let's see what it is this is exciting i usually put out a trolling lure on my way to my fishing spot and this is a planer with the drone spoon on it or king spoon and that is a little tuny look at you buddy <laughs> come on calm down calm down let me get you in <clears throat> all right get up here man spicy thing that is a little toony but we're gonna let him go there we go he shot off swam off just fine i don't need him catch plenty of them i'm after something else but that was still fun on my way out i always like to put out something to troll something shiny and this is a planer size 2 50 pound mono and a size 200 gator king spoon catches a lot of fish this way i'm gonna put this back out that planer just allows that lure to dive down. Give or take 20 feet, depending how fast you're going. I'm using 65 pound braid so it can get down a little deeper with braided line. There we go. All right, we just hooked up again. Yes. That is awesome. Keep that line tight. <laughs> that, that fish is swimming fast that's funny oh i think he's getting eaten by something that's odd he felt really weird just now like some weird head shakes here it is another little toonie yep <laughs> these things are cool they're so fast. All right, buddy. Let me pull you up without getting bit by anything. And we're going to let you go back. They are really pretty fish. I'll tell you that. They got some cool colors on them. All right. Jet you back down. And he shot off. Yeah. Cool. Two fish on deck. I'll let it out again. Clicker's on. And we're set. All right, we just hooked up. Pretty nice fish. Let's see if he stays on. All right, he's gonna wanna go on this side of the boat. What are you, bud? We can see any color. Oh yeah. Another little toonie, that's a pretty one there. They look gorgeous in this water. Very nice and clean water. <laughs> you can go feisty. This will keep you entertained the whole time out here. Woo! Look at him. Going crazy. Let's get you in the boat. Or at least out of the water. <clears throat> there you go. All right. That's a pretty one there. All right, calm down so I can get you back. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. He gone. That was cool. We're almost at our fishing spot, so I'm gonna put up the planer. But just to show you again, this is a number two planer. Ball bearing snap swivel from my main line, ball bearing snap swivel to my leader. I'm running about eight feet of 50 pound monofilament for some stretch. And this is a Gator King Spoon, number 200 in that sky blue color. Hey everyone, so we just came out to 300 feet of water. Check that out. It's some Swiss cheese bottom all over all this natural bottom here this is pretty deep we're about 40 miles out right now but let me show you what i'm using and we'll go ahead and drop down so my jig of choice today is going to be this johnny jigs orange zebra glow i like using some sort of glow color especially striped the deeper the water because it's real dark down there now i have a tn knot you can look that up it's a very good knot for attaching swivels or solid rings and I've attached that to the solid ring with twin owner assist hooks, split ring to my jig. This is a 220 gram. So we're gonna drop this down and get after it. The spot looks good, marking a lot of fish down there. 
there's not much current today so i can get away with this 220. If there's a lot of current i'd probably move up to a 300. typically you choose your jig based off the depth and current and your drift if you're drifting right now i'm using my trolling motor easy way to decide is however many feet you're fishing that's how many grams you can go so if you're fishing 300 feet pick a 300 gram jig and then you can change from there you want to stay vertical and right on top of your jig that's how you get the best action so we're on the bottom we'll lift it up let it fall oh there's one i was just reeling it in something just smacked it Oh yeah, first fish today on the slow pitch. <laughs> but I wasn't really jigging, I was just reeling it in to drop back down on that side since the current's pulling me under the boat. And we just got a fish on. It's a good fish too. It has some power. Come on, man. Let's get you on deck, find out what you're gonna be. Wow, look at that. That sucker is pulling pulling good that might be a bobo either that or a black fan tuna which is highly possible it's a good fish come here there's my top shot oh yeah it's a little toony that's cool Spicy joker. Get up here, man. Come here. That's fun. Oh, it's a big little toonie. I was just reeling in to reset my jig pretty much. Drop it down on the other side and just hook this little toonie. They put up a good fight. He gone. It is possible to catch blackfin tuna out here this time of year as well. That's what I was hoping he was gonna be, but hey, a fish is a fish. All right, back down with the jig we go. That was fun. Those little toonies put up a good fight. They're colloquially called a bonita. They're not like your Atlantic Benito. I think those are better eaten. But they're still fun to catch. They make good bait. They are edible, but it's his lucky day. He got to go back. Okay, we're back down on the bottom again. I'm just going to jig it right off the bottom. So I'm marking a lot of these fish as within 20 feet of the bottom. It's a gorgeous day out here. I'm telling you, real pretty. It's comfortable. I'm wearing my mossy oak t-shirt and their fishing shorts. But if you wanna go pick some mossy oak apparel up or gear, their store will be linked down below. And you can use promo code Bama Saltwater for 20% off your order, which is awesome. Oh, it did. It got their attention better. <laughs> we just hooked up. That was awesome. Oh, hard fighter. Heavy fish. Let this rod bend down and use that high speed reel to your advantage to get them up off the bottom so you don't lose them in that structure. It's very rocky down there. Uh, got a long way to go to reel up, so <laughs> it'll, it'll definitely give you a workout. So we're going to see, get it close to the boat, and I hope it's a grouper. That'll be awesome. It's something that can go in the cooler and it is a beeliner bow hook great <laughs> it's a keeper though at least so there's our beeliner they only have to be 10 inches long he's a decent keeper about average size it's going to go on ice at least we got something to throw in the cooler we'll send it back down it's fun fishing on this light tackle they can handle some very very large fish i actually called a seven and a half foot spinner shark if you haven't seen that video this is the rod i caught it on and the guides may look cattywampus, you know, but it's called a spiral wrap. And that allows the blank to naturally curve down because these are very parabolic. They're meant to bend down and it keeps your line from touching the blank. All right, y'all, we just made it back to the dock. And he's over here. He looks kind of cold. I know I am. <laughs> What's up, buddy? That was a fun trip. Yeah, so that was a fun and exciting trip there. 
And uh, it's a pretty rainy day today. I'm filming this outro the next day. Got to clean some fish in my new Bird of Prey clean table and sprayed off the rods and the boat and all my tackle. But y'all, I appreciate you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see more and keep up with the channel, smash that subscribe button down below. The channel is constantly growing and is awesome to be able to share these experiences with each and every one of y'all. All of our partners and sponsors are linked down below. We'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. We'll see you later.